Ohio. Um, this is, I know, it's been a very long time since I've done a vlog video. And I'm really just coming in to update you before we pass over into 2014. Um, the last vlog video I did was in February, I think it was. And um, things were okay then. But since February to now December, it's not been the greatest, I will be honest. It's not been the easiest, it's not been the greatest. Plus, um, because I've been on the decline with my health for so long, for since, for like the last, since 2011, I've been relapsing. Um, since, I've, since it's been so long, I have I decided to, to take the medication. I'm right now on Tysabri, um, the infusion once a month. So I go to King's College Hospital once a month to have the infusion um i've been i've been on it since may um but it was confirmed in september that i'm still relapsing even though i'm on the medication um not not too not too um surprised by that not too even i'm not too fussed as well because i'm just like it's only medication that's known to not do what it's supposed to do in ms medication anyway um in the meantime, uh, I've had, a, I think it's been 10 falls. I've had a few in my f indoors. I've had, um, I had one outside Morrison's, one on Brick Lane, <laughs> one backwards into the, into the bathtub. Wasn't getting into the bath, wasn't doing anything with the bath, but kind of backwards into the bathtub. So um, the, me just saying that I'm just highlighting the fact that things are still going on but at the same time I'm here I can't argue as well as it not being such a great year it's also not been a great year because I've lost seven people personally the one that happened on Valentine's the first one on Valentine's as much as I don't care for Valentine's um, is my aunt close to my aunt. She had breast cancer and she passed away on Valentine's Day. Um, and it's just been a continuous list of people that have passed away since February. And February, she passed first. And then my coach in June, my basketball coach I've known for over 10 years, he had a bad heart situation and he had a, had a pacemaker put in and then pacemaker basically failed. Um, I haven't brought myself to go to the centre since it happened. Kind of not knowing, I, I'm not too sure how I'd respond to it. Knowing that he's sleeping, knowing that he's he's not here no more, that's, I'm okay with that. But just, I think it's the expectation that he's going to come around the corner. Or just the memories that I have of the place, of the sports centre that I was with him for many years. Um, that's what I can't bring myself to, to go there. But yeah. Um, and then on the 5th of August, my cousin had a heart attack. Um, 34 years old. Um, it's just been a continuous string of different things that have happened. And it's not been the nicest, but I, once again, I can't complain because I'm here. I'm here to record this video to say praise God um, and there's so many different things that come to mind when I think of these various people that have passed away this year because they're not, not cause but more that they're not here and it's more like we're here so let us praise each moment that we are here. I, my One of my personal scriptures, Psalms 139 verse 18. And it basically talks about God's precious thoughts towards us and how he has numbered them. Now, they are, if we were to try and number them, they are more in number than the grains of sand on the seashore. So amazing because if his thoughts are that many towards me personally, and it's like, then me going through what I'm going through, it's going to be okay. Um, it hasn't been easy in the, in the notion that my sensations are still not there. There, it's been very numb. My walking, I'm using two crutches at the minute. I, 
I'm I've, <laughs> I've gone down to a size. I'm wearing between size 14 and size 10 clothes. That is crazy. I've never been that size in my life. Never been that size in my life. But at the same time, once again, praise God, I'm alive. I'm here, and I can only but just continue to praise because so many people, so many people, are like, oh my gosh, Annie, you've lost so much weight. Why are you losing so much weight? Have you lost weight? Just like, yeah, but once again, I'm here. Don't, don't, don't acknowledge the fact that I've lost weight. More like, enjoy my company. And right now, what I've noticed, what I'm noticing is that a lot of people will make comments about me and they're not really seeing Anna anymore. They're seeing the disability, they're seeing MS. They're not seeing who I am anymore. They're seeing this young person. They're they're, I don't even know if they're seeing age, but they're not seeing me anymore. And it is, kind of, it is very frustrating because it, I don't want to let MS, I am not letting MS overcome me but then every time I speak to someone and someone's like, oh, what, how many crutches? I've been on crutches. I can't imagine you without them. Um, when they make statements like that, it really is annoying. It's more, it's not even annoying. It's more like, is that what you see when you look at me? And it, it nicely goes into the fact that I was asked some time back, how do I see myself? now that I have all these health challenges, do you see yourself as less beautiful? And the answer to that question would be simply yes. Simply yes. Why? Why? Because I'm not the same, well, I wouldn't say, what's the easiest way of putting this? I would say that because I am not the same as I used to be, obviously, because I'm not the same Eno that I used to be, I'm now this person that has to use crutches. I'm now the same person that has to ask for help to do things. As much as that doesn't take away from me, I think the independence part of it has slightly made me look at myself because I now have to ask someone to help me, maybe peel an onion, write something down rather, or walk two steps. Whereas I could do all these things by myself, I don't have to ask for supervision because that's what it is right now. People have to supervise me to a certain extent. And it's really, it, people, I don't think people really understand how or try and comprehend or try and grasp the, the, how it affects someone losing this much independence when I used to be so independent, used to be so do everything my own time, my own way, whatever. But at the same time, once again, I, it will come back to my default. Praise God, I am here. I am not somewhere else. And some, I'm not in a wheelchair. Oh, me saying that. My physiotherapist recently has put me down to um, to be put into a wheelchair. To basically not to be put into a wheelchair, but to be analysed or assessed for a wheelchair. For a wheelchair and. As much as I didn't want it, as much as I don't want it, um, I need to accept the notion that I may, I have to use this because my walking has become so, not so terrible, it's become so hard for me to walk that a wheelchair, it doesn't make sense me not using a wheelchair when I have access to one. Um, I will, I, I will be, just being honest, it's been a difficult year. It has been a difficult year and everyone not acknowledging me anymore but acknowledging MS has made it even more, more, more challenging and the fact that so many people have passed away around me, it, it reminds me again of that scripture, Psalms 139, verse 18, 17 and 18, the amount of thoughts that God has towards us are so, in, so much in number that it's like sand on the seashore. I don't think we can actually fully comprehend that when we try and grasp it. If we just take a little pinch of sand, there's how many hundreds of pieces in that. So, in other words, God's countless thoughts towards us, towards me. Um, I have to remember that, especially in these hard times, especially in times when I cannot feel my legs or I cannot feel my hands or I. 
I struggle to go two steps or I'm, I'm hungry and um, whatever. Um, it's been a challenging year, but that's what it's, it's the uh, year is ending is ending now. So my my last note before 2014 comes in is to say, praise God, enjoy your year, the the year to come, because you probably won't hear from me until next year. Enjoy the year to come, more than ever. Enjoy every minute of it. No regrets. Enjoy every second of it in the notion that you will move forward knowing that you tried your best because that's what I am having to do with my physio that I'm doing every two days every day. Um, I know that I'm moving forward even though I may decline, I may get worse, I may not get worse. I'm, I have to, I'm, it's advice that I use the wheelchair. I am moving forward knowing that I have no regrets saying that I have tried my best and even if MS is still trying to do what it's doing. I know at least I can put, I can go to bed saying that yes, I've done my best, I've tried my hardest and I pray the same for you too and I'm saying Happy New Year when it comes, more than ever, enjoy, until next video, peace.